Hi guys, welcome to Android Guide. So in this video, we are going to take an overview of an app known as FlashFi. So if you are into flashing custom ROMs and modifying your device, then uh, you actually might have heard about FlashFi. It's uh, quite a popular app out there. And uh, in this video, we are going to take an overview of this app and uh, how you can. Uh, I will also be guiding you on uh, how you can use FlashFi to uh, flash custom ROMs as well as uh, <coughs> flash image files, uh, boot.imgs or recovery.imgs. Okay, so once you open FlashFi, uh, by the way, I will be having uh, links to both the APK version of uh, FlashFi as well as the Google Play Store link down below in the description box. So you don't need to worry about uh, any links. All the stuff which I will be using in this video, I will have that put down below in the description box. Okay, so when you open FlashFi, you will be uh, you will be greeted by this uh, disclaimer pop-up. So basically, it uh, just says that uh, the developer is not responsible for uh, uh, for the dangers which are uh, uh, which are associated with flashing and uh, if uh, your device uh, gets damaged during this process then the developer is not responsible so yeah, basically you know, i do believe that uh, you are uh, watching this uh, overview video because uh, uh, you are much into rooting and uh, you know you know about uh, custom rooms and stuff so yeah uh, just click on accept and uh, then uh, flash file will obviously require root access because it will be modifying it will be used to modify the uh, root uh, the system partitions you know basically since it is being uh, used to modify the core partitions of your device uh, obviously we need to grant it root access so uh, you know basically you can see that we have two tabs in here uh, the first one is the flash tab so basically using in here you can uh, flash uh, any boot imgs or recovery dot img or any flashable zip we'll be taking a look at that later on but uh, first off we will just uh, take a look at uh, the backup and restore tab so uh, from in here you can uh, back up your current kernel or your current recovery so actually uh, backing up kernel comes in uh, pretty much handy at times uh, you know uh, i will uh, i will take an uh, example from miui 8 so i am uh, using miui 8 currently on my redmi note 3 and uh, i have also rooted that device um so uh, you know uh, when it uh, comes to uh, I had flashed a custom kernel on my Redmi Note 3 on uh, MIUI 8 so uh, uh, the problem with the flashing custom kernels is that uh, uh, the custom kernels break OTAs so uh, since I have flashed cust uh, a custom kernel on MIUI 8 I am uh, no longer able to receive OTA updates from uh, Xiaomi on MIUI 8 so uh, you know because uh, uh, so now when I need to update uh, my phone to the late, latest version of uh, MIUI I will uh, have to uh, you know go back to the stock kernel uh, to receive the OT updates and install them so this is where you know uh, backing up the stock kernel comes in handy uh, so when I am uh, when I was on MIUI 8 I actually used FlashFi to back up my current kernel uh, back up the stock kernel and then uh, when uh, uh, after backing up the stock kernel i flashed the custom kernel and when there was a news about uh, about an uh, ota rollout for uh, for miui 8 from xiaomi then uh, i went back again to the stock i restored the stock kernel from uh, uh, flash 5 and post that i was able to receive the ot update so yeah that's where uh, uh, flash 5 comes in handy uh, so basically you, you can back up your kernel you can configure the backup name you know i'll just say just put uh, test in here and uh, you can choose the backup location SD card Dropbox box or Google uh, Google Drive so the last three ones are uh, uh, these are premium versions uh, you know uh, for backing up to cloud services like Dropbox and Google Drive you will uh, have to have uh, uh, the premium version of flash 5 and uh, you know just go back okay uh, you know uh, yeah so uh, basically the premium version uh, requires uh, does give you some additional features currently i am uh, running the free version of the app so if you purchase the premium version of the app then uh, you will be able to bypass the three daily flash uh, flashing limit so you can only flash uh, three uh, files uh, if you are uh, running uh, the free version of flashify and uh, then you also get a dark theme and then obviously you can uh, back up to uh, different cloud services like Google Drive box and Dropbox so yeah yeah and then using Google Cloud Sync you can also restore your uh, uh, backups when you are uh, if you are planning to uh, use a different device um so you know obviously uh, you can either backup to SD card Google Drive 
and you know obviously when you will be trying to back up to google drive or box it will uh, you know obviously ask for that uh, premium version but uh, i think that uh, yeah oh sorry uh, the backing up to uh, dropbox is actually free so you know all you need to do is just uh, sign up into your uh, dropbox account uh, give the necessary permissions to flashby and uh, then you know sign into dropbox to link with flashby and then you will obviously be able to uh, use flashby with dropbox so if you plan to use the free version with dropbox yeah then you can do that uh, then uh, you can you know obviously uh, i'll just uh, rename the backup again you know just put something like test and then you'll say back it up and then you can see that it is actually backing up the boot.img uh, which is nothing but uh, the current kernel because uh, you know kernel is a part of uh, boot.img only and uh, then if you also wish to back up your uh, stock recovery then you can do that as well and you know actually it's a pretty simple procedure and uh, when you uh, wish to restore any of them you know you can just simply tap on this yup button and uh, it will just uh, restore uh, either your custom kernel or recovery whatever you want to restore and then it will uh, just reboot your device to to implement uh, the restoration and then similarly you know if you want to uh, just uh, uh, flash any recovery image file you know i will just actually i had uh, uh, a downloaded a recovery file and uh, additionally uh, you know also uh, if you plan to uh, fla uh, flash any recovery image you can actually download twrp for your device uh, you know flash fire does have that uh, inbuilt option for uh, downloading uh, official builds of the twrp you know actually from in here you can uh, choose your device i actually own an android one device so you know you can basically see that uh, we do have a bunch of options in here you can download uh, uh, the build of twrp for your device and uh, uh, using then uh, from therein you will be able to uh, flash uh, the custom recovery itself um so i'll just quickly you know uh I'll just take a quick look at that uh i have an android one device this one is uh, my device and then you i will just maybe uh let's see i'll just select this one well okay you know maybe it's uh maybe it's a temporary bug or uh, whatever it may be uh, but yeah anyway uh, you know i will just uh, choose a uh, choose a recovery file actually i had downloaded a recovery file itself i'll just go to mi explorer uh, oh, i had that uh, recovery file therein okay we'll just use the file explorer uh, we'll go to sd card and there we have that recovery.img okay so there we go uh, you know you can just and once you are done just tap on yup and well, let me check the battery uh, and only two percent is left okay so you know you can see that the flashing is complete now you can either reboot or flash some more stuff you know so obviously i will tap on flash more <laughs> okay but uh, you know uh, obviously uh, just keep in mind that uh, the number of flashes uh, are restricted to three uh, for uh, the free version and uh, for for flashing more you can you will obviously have to buy the premium one then uh, then you uh, you know you can actually flash a bunch of files and sequences you know if you just want to install a zip or maybe you know I'll just actually uh, and uh, as you might have seen uh, you know it uh, uh, I'll just go to download you know maybe select CM11 copying to a safe location and yeah actually when you know you just might have seen that uh, when i just uh, pressed on add a command it actually gave you that option to download g apps as well um yeah okay i'm just afraid that the my battery should not run out okay but you know we'll just uh, wait for it to copy it to a safe location uh actually i'll just be doing a review of sound and mod 11 as well you know maybe a 2017 review of android kitkat okay um well I will just pause this video until uh, this uh, copying process gets complete and then I will continue well okay um you know it just uh, uh, just a second after I paused the video it actually uh, finished that uh, copying okay uh, so yeah you know you can then uh, add another file uh, add another command and then you know I, I, you can either select install zip wipe cache wipe dalvik wipe data backup or restore you know so there's a bunch of stuff in there uh, so uh, maybe you know i will just select uh, install zip and then you can even download g apps as well so you know this is something uh, nice which we have in but again you know you can see that error which we have something went wrong uh, so maybe that uh, 
download the apps feature is not working apparently as as of now uh, but you know you can obviously see that uh, you know if you want to just uh, flash a custom room and then uh, you know just again choose a zip file and then say if you just want to flash the g apps package you know actually i will just uh, flash my phone this time using flash by itself uh, okay it's still two percent yeah uh, so it will again uh, copy the file to a safe location so uh, after flashing the room uh, you know i will flash the g apps and then i will add another command uh, to you know actually wipe the uh, in fact you know we should have uh, the command before that okay so wipe the cache wipe the dalvik cache and wipe data so actually we should have had these commands actually over uh, obviously you know we have to uh, wipe the cache dalvik and data before uh, flashing any custom room so yeah there you have it wipe the cache dalvik data and uh, uh, after it has done all the wiping, uh, after it has wiped the cache, dalvik, and data partitions, it will continue with the uh, and uh, flash the Sanjian mod 11 zip file and the uh, open G apps, uh, uh, G apps KitKat package. And additionally, if you you know want to uh, just do some uh, Android backups as well, uh, then obviously you will uh, you can click on the backup and then you can additionally you know choose which partitions you want to backup and then whether you want to uh, generate md5 sums or not so again you know a lot of customizations in here uh again i'll just choose everything special partition one two three boot you know whatever you want to uh, backup then just click on next backup name you know if you want to have it something like abcd done maybe you know i will just then put backup on top so uh you know uh, when i just uh, obviously i won't be able to execute this flash queue because uh, uh, since i'm using the free version of the app and it is only restricted to two three flashes i won't be able to uh, you know these are a bunch of uh, uh, flash a bunch of queues which we have in here but you know obviously uh, it uh, needs uh, you will be needing a premium version of the app if you plan to do more than three flashes in a day or in fact yeah uh, since we are okay you know uh, I think I'm uh, pretty much into the safe limit of the three flashes. I haven't actually uh, proceeded. You know, I had just uh, flashed a custom recovery prior to that and uh, uh, prior to this flash. And then we are only, you know, flashing the two zip files. So yeah, we are pretty much in the, uh, we'll be only be flashing uh, three zip files. So, uh, you know, you can then just see that when I just tap on that check mark, you can uh, either reboot to recovery or do the later, uh, you know, flash uh, the uh do this flashing queue later on um okay and then if you just want to delete any uh delete uh any step from in here you know you can either wipe it away or just tap on this delete button you know so obviously uh this is what i'm uh, trying to tell you you know this is a highly uh customized app you know you can just flash queue reboot uh you know reboot into recovery reboot into the bootloader you just take a quick look in the settings now you know dark theme again this is a premium feature you can you know backup to clouds dropbox that's free for box and google drive you need to buy the premium version and then configuration check root on start uh again you know you can do all that check for root now send log files you know you can generate the log data and then you can follow the app authorizer on google plus twitter you know more know more about him um then premium details usage statistics you no know, first session etc so you know if you just want to know about all those statistics then uh, you can do that or say thanks on google play you know obviously so a bunch of stuff is in here uh, but uh, i guess uh, that's all what we have in here uh, you can you know obviously flash uh, zip files and then you also have this option of downloading g apps but currently as you saw that you know uh, some of the stuff is uh, not working uh, as you as we did see you know uh, twrp when we tried to download uh, recovery images from twrp that wasn't working and similarly you can see that uh, we can't download uh, uh, cwm recovery files as well and i think uh, there would be a similar bug with fills as well fills g apps uh, you know fills uh, g apps so all that stuff is apparently broken uh, as of now but uh, again you know flash files uh, comes in a lot handy if you just plan to you know uh, use it to uh, flash recovery images or flashable zip files if you in fact in uh, some custom recoveries out there there isn't an option of uh, flashing recovery images file so if you just want to use flash file for flashing recovery images then you know this app can definitely come in handy 
so i guess uh, we are pretty much done with this uh, overview and i think this concludes the video so in case you like the video hit that thumbs up button and in case you want to get a notification in whenever we upload our future videos through this channel and i'm out of battery as well so yeah this, that's all what we have got so thanks for watching guys and we'll catch you guys in the next one